What's going on you guys? Shiraz Ahmed here with a brand new video. Since many of you liked one of my previous ones on top five handbags that you can invest in, I thought I'd do something out there for the watch aficionados. Today we'll be talking about watches that actually have an alter ego as a good investment. So stay tuned. Now the criteria here to look for watches that you can buy, wear, and enjoy, and ideally sell down the line for what you paid for it, or even a little bit more. Now without further ado, let's jump into some of them. Now even if you're not a big watch person, you've probably heard of some of the brands like Rolex or Breitling or Tag. Now there are individual examples from various brands that will go up in value, but it's really hard to determine which models will be sought after or even considered to be collectible in the future. That said, there are, however, some what we would call safer bets that you can make. We'll discuss some of those, starting with the, relatively speaking, less expensive options, and then, of course, moving up in price. Now, Rolex is a name that almost everyone knows, and you probably assumed you'd find this on the list, and of course, you're not wrong. Now, back in the 1970s, quartz watches were first introduced, and the switch watch market was bordering on extinction. They began offering extremely well-built watches as symbols of wealth and high craftsmanship. Rolex is probably the most well-known watchmaker today, with good reason. Celebrities, athletes, business folk, and even royalty have been known to wear the brand. Therefore, a Rolex is considered a pretty safe investment as long as the demand for this brand continues going forward. Rolexes can obviously be expensive, and there's lots of different ideas as to which specific model will actually hold its value best. As a general rule, for your first foray into the high-end watch world, it's nice to get a stainless steel Rolex as a starting point. Now, my personal favorite is the Date Just model. This model features a clean face with a really simple dial showing the day and the month. Now, of course, there's the iconic Submariner, which would probably be my second choice, as it's just a bit more expensive than the Date Just. If you're looking to buy brand new, then these two would actually be a great starting place. Alternatively, if you're actually looking into the used market, then you actually may be able to find a Daytona model, which is actually quite a bit more money brand new. Now, if you like the look of a gold watch, you can actually save yourself quite a bit by going used, as the markup on gold brand new is really high. There are also two-toned watches, which are actually even cheaper on the used market, it seems that that look has actually become somewhat dated and a bit less desirable recently. Now there's one more brand that it may not be as well known to most consumers, but it literally rivals Rolex. And many of you may have actually heard about this brand. It is Patek Philippe. Out of 100 of the most expensive watches ever sold at auction, only 17 have not been a Patek Philippe. Just one example, is the former emperor of Ethiopia owned one of these and it sold at auction in 2017 for almost 3 million US. A Patek Philippe makes a few different models starting as low as 12,500 US going up in price well over into the multi-millions of dollars. Now generally speaking, the more complications or dials or more precious stones and metals will actually drive that price up significantly. The cost of these watches is also driven up by the fact that it takes at least nine months for the Swiss artisans to actually create each watch. Some more complicated watches can actually take an entire two year time frame to produce. One of the more popular models, without getting into the $2 million territory, is the Patek Philippe Calavatra. This model has a classic design and timeless look, and it's my personal favorite, but it's strictly as an investment piece. There are actually better models from the manufacturer, of course. The Nautilus is actually probably the best entry-level investment piece from Patek Philippe. The average retail price is actually about 60,000 US, but you can actually spend as much as 135,000 for one of these models. Often considered to be the most popular sports watch, its resale value is as high as three to four times the MSRP. If you're lucky enough to get a special edition, they can actually be worth even more. A Nautilus release as part of Tiffany's 170th anniversary was recently sold at auction for $6.5 million. Now we have to give a, an honorable mention to a very well-known manufacturer, 
Adam R. Piquet, especially the Royal Oak model. These models start in the low tens of thousands and range upwards to hundreds of thousands of dollars in range. It is an absolutely gorgeous specimen and it's one that if you don't or aren't familiar, I encourage you to check it out. Well, as you can see, there's a whole world of watch investing out there. Now, if you're really not sure what you're doing, you can't go wrong with a stainless steel date just from Rolex. Now, if you're a little bit more experienced, a Patek Philippe perhaps may be in your future. Remember, you can always check out the used markets and perhaps snag a great deal when they do come up. Just make sure you're shopping at a reputable store. Well, thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like the content that I'm creating, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it really does help me out. I'll also be uploading new content, so if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified the next time I upload a piece. If you have specific topic requests or suggestions, I'll put my contact info at the end of this video. Please feel free to drop me a line or even if you have specific questions that you want to talk about your own scenario. Until next time, please stay safe out there you guys and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.